Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video, we will have a look at the latest sites from Omeriglo. In this case, the brand new sites that the FBI in USA use on their Glock 19 and 17 variation. Uh, those sites are night sites. They come delivered in this nice packaging. I'm gonna link the website in the description. Uh, we have here the, the typical Ameriglo uh, nice packaging with the uh, number and some more information. Uh, we have the orange form and usually the tool on the left side, the front side mounting tool is on the back side, not visual from outside. There is just a Left and right is the, the front and the rear side on in the packaging like that. On the back side we have a bit uh, bigger Ameriglo logo as well. Now I use Ameriglo for many years now and the quality is outstanding. I never had a bad site and uh, the tritium, the glow in the dark material that is used, that is self luminescent and they don't need any any uh, uh, light source to activate or keep up that is made in Switzerland uh, does that uh, those people that company were back then neighbors from me in Switzerland so I used that for a long time since I discovered the the tritium basically and we see here the rare site uh, this one is in the FBI version with green glow-in-the-dark tritium. We have a U-notch cutout. The front is relative square, just on top is a bit rounded off. The, the outside is rounded off and the, the cutout is round as well. Uh, the front side uh, is also with tritium. We see the, the marking uh, with the 17 show the year that it was made. In this case we have a big big uh, tritium dot in the middle with a uh, surrounding in a bright orange uh, fluor color. In front it's nicely rounded off. The the size, the size compared from the front to the rear side is really well. You have quite a bit air uh, left and right. If you are like me, a bit older and uh, your eyes are maybe not the best anymore, you like to have a bit more air in between left and right from the, from the rear side to the front side and that sure fits perfectly. It's also aimed towards a faster target acquisition. The mounting is a somewhat uh, a procedure that you need to have a sight tool because those are tritium sights. The front sight can be easy mounted with the delivered tool that comes with the, with the packaging. The rear sight should be best uh, mounted using a Glock or any other side tool because it has tritium in it you cannot simply hammer it in place it may damage the glass capsule of the tritium so something that, that uh, pushes the sides rather than hammer on it is needed for a, for a quality mounting uh, your armor for sure can help the, the gunsmiths in your area uh, also, if you have a late, uh, that I mean a, a milling machine, that could be adapted uh, too. If you have a strong one that can push uh, some items over, if you want to do it like that, or you simply get yourself a tool. They sell them on eBay for a rather uh, inexpensive price. Uh, for me, I made my own site tool. It's also needed to adjust the rear side because that is completely in the in the slot. Uh, in it there is no screw and nothing that is just a press fit also remember to loop it up with a grease or with the oil whatever you you uh, select to to push it in to a uh, place uh, 
So then that works relatively easy and once it's in and adjusted to your preference that you aim where you're gonna, gonna hit, uh, then that stays in place shot, it's not gonna move. So all in all, I like that sight a lot. That makes a, a great uh, combat sight. If you would rather have the same sights with a square cut out, not the round one like here, uh, that is also be made. Uh, as best as I see is Glock selling that sight as a as a basic upgrade for the Glock factory uh, directly. So and of course you can get it from Americo and their dealer as well. So that would be possible too. For me that doesn't matter too much if it's a, a U-notch or a square one. That is a personal preference. So that much about the new FBI sites from Ameriglow.